These were notes <laughs> from what was going to happen if Corona didn't happen. Literally. Oh my gosh. Um, this seven? is season seven. Oh my gosh. See, the summer Isaac leaves the party with another girl. Wow. <laughs> And then I go to the bathroom and I'm sad about it in the bathroom. I'm glad this was not filmed. Maybe God was keeping us away from this. Honestly. (laughs) Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Keenster World Podcast. Quickly, before we start, make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe. If you guys are enjoying the episode so far, we have a returner. We have a veteran. We have the blueprint of it all. (laughs) Miss Shani Monroy Skoog. Yay! Yay! She's back, everyone. I'm so excited that you're back. I'm so excited to be back. Well, thanks for coming on. Thank I you was going to be me. really sad. Um, mm-hmm. Shani Monroy Skoog, how's the married life going? <laughs> Still being a wifey? Yes. Oh. It's going good. Do you love it? I love it. I has like my has anything changed from the last time I saw you? Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. Are you pregnant? I'm expecting I'm kidding. And you're like no. actually I'm on my period right now, so <laughs> literally no. How's Shani in the kitchen doing? We recorded Shani. an episode <laughs> and I heard kitchen. Shani in the kitchen, I ran in the streets. <laughs> Here we go again. No, and that episode, bro, like oh me and Eileen were talking because I saw her recently. Oh, and yeah. she's like, I ran drinks so much she's like i can't i hang really with her. don't though I ran, you, do. you were you you got me and matt both messed up i i you honestly did, will bro. take like three or four shots and then i'll be great i feel like that's why maybe that you can like compose yourself better because me and matt were like <laughs> you guys are like seeing stars yes okay so based on our last podcast we kind of <laughs> talked about she's like i'm already drunk no, no. <laughs> so based off our last podcast or I don't know if you even watched the episode. You just mentioned earlier that you watched every episode. Did you watch my episode with Xavier? <laughs> I did watch the episode with Xavier. Did you know that your dad had asked him or talked to him about, like, dating and stuff? That's so funny because, okay, so I watched. Let me just explain how the story went down. Okay. I watched it. Uh-huh. I was listening to it in the car, and I was like, oh, shoot, when he said that, I was like, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. I had no idea that my dad told him whatever you know yeah. what did he say again he was just like make sure you're like respectful to her and oh, like yeah. you know just being parent stuff yeah yeah and i was kind of like not embarrassed but i was just like taken back uh-huh. i was like i did not know my parents were like cousin ruckus behind the scenes yeah so i talked to my mom and she's like yeah he said that and i was like uh why didn't you guys tell me i was like that <laughs> was like so six long years ago later like, and you're like no one's gonna update me on that no right yeah. and then she's like well i don't think we did anything bad Mm-mm. and i'm like no, I guess you're right. Looking back at it, they didn't do anything wrong. You know, Absolutely none of us not. really knew what we were doing. We we're filming and we we're young, you know. Well, I they were just looking out for me. But I think it was just so random. Like, I had no idea my parents did that. I'm not mad at them. I'm not yeah. mad at anyone. But I just thought that was interesting. Well, yeah, I feel like I had this conversation briefly with Brianna. But I feel like that trait now I, like, appreciate so much more when a guy, like, actually has respect to go to your mother or father and be yeah. like, Oh, I would love to take her out or like have that like respect conversation because like a lot of people don't do that anymore and like it's not something that anybody really values. So like even like the other day, one of even the other day, my my boyfriend. What? Breaking news. Wait, everyone. you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I'm in my boyfriend era. But Be the other real. day, he called my dad <laughs> to ask him if he can ask me out. Aww. And I was like, wait, that's so adorable. Have I love yet. that. My dad's like, <laughs> um, um, no, but it's like something that I appreciate so much more now. And like, I mean, I think it's great that yeah. like your dad did that. And like, it's protective because like you said, like we were so young and we had like no idea mm-hmm. what if we were. If it was real or not. Yeah. And you're just being yeah. careful. Wait. Can we start that conversation now? No. I, um, okay, so <laughs> let's continue to... Um, <laughs> okay, I, um, I'm Iram's follower on Be Real. And I would see someone... I'd be, I'd be on Be Real But I didn't time. know if it was like, you know, a friend. Because, you know, friends yeah, get comfortable. Yeah. So like, um, that's your boyfriend? Yeah, yeah. He asked me out like this past week. It's very new. It's very recent. Aww. My mom's like, don't speak about boys. You don't have a boyfriend. No, I'm just joking. Just be like, just say like, what? No, happened. no, just no, no. Real. He's been like my, he's like my like college best friend. Like I met him oh, okay. like the third day of college and like we've been best oh. friends since. And I don't know. We were just like, wait, this is actually kind of fun. We've always, I don't know. He's 
he's obviously always liked me duh obviously, <laughs> I'm just obviously like, you have no, a podcast no 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 <laughs> he's great though and then i don't know we uh, we're dating uh, that's crazy i'm in my yeah. boyfriend era i can't it's so weird no wonder like you said single. you're in your married era i'm like why did she say that you're like what no, no. That makes sense um <laughs> no it's actually really fun and it's like exciting and new and like mm-hmm. it's not new at all though because we've been friends for so long so it's not like i just met him and we went on a couple of dates like we've been best friends for like a really long time so but it's a new step like Mm -hmm. it's not just friends it's more like serious now you guys don't look at each other as just friends and stuff like that he's very very sweet but um i need to see pictures i don't want to just see the back of his head anymore (laughs) i'm like i'm like private but not secret (laughs) um okay so i kind of want to reflect on experiences that we kind of went through as kids because i know in the past in the last podcast we kind of talked about like lq and all those stuff all of those things but I want to kind of reflect on like events that we went together and like kind of how we grew and how we feel about that now. Um, so let's talk about the women's March for a little bit. Cause I feel like that was a tradition that we like kept going for like a pretty long time. Mm-hmm. And like, we kind of wanted to talk about how that one time we were at the women's March and we did get recognized. Mm-hmm. And like the girl mentioned that she was there because of us, which is like, I mean, that was one of thousands and thousands of girls, but the fact that we are even, even able to bring one person there I feel like is like so awesome and like I don't know what are your thoughts on that I agree I I remember that moment too it was like right in the middle of the march and Uh stuff like that I think it's it's crazy how like like what you said we we didn't realize because we're so young that we had a big influence Mm -hmm. as like latinx people mm-hmm. um like wait, I need, the I word is trailblazed yeah, yeah but we yeah. um kind of were that representation yes, for lots of for. girls and yeah. in the youtube community because i don't think there was any super popular shows that were like mainstream and like, or like, like reality shows of like like modern day mm-hmm. La- latina, latina girls families. yeah yeah absolutely and like every single season of mdq stemmed from the family orientation and like showing that tradition and showing it to basically everyone in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, but I really liked that, like, even though we're, yeah, we were showing, like, fake drama and stuff like that, mm-hmm. but we still were showing real problems that were happening yeah. in the world. And I think that's really crazy because, like you said, nobody was doing that. Mm-mm. Nobody was, like, posting about that on YouTube yeah. and stuff like that. If anything, people were scared to talk about that yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I think that, like, with us providing not i it sounds like so privileged but like yeah with us being like influential to these girls like it created a space for everybody to just kind of be like open to latinas being on youtube and like not to but like the company that we were working with was predominantly a white like everything like every creator that was on there was like mostly white the caucasian um, descent yes 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 yes, yes. <laughs> oh is that is that rude to say white people? no oh no. sorry um <laughs> but i was like sorry right, sorry I was gonna cancel. <laughs> um no, no but like everybody there was predominantly white like yeah that's no it. i so, understand like, yeah. being there and like having a show that was like one of the or the top performing shows like i left chicken set was super cool because like that wasn't common at all and especially mm-hmm. in that space and i do think like to this day i don't feel like we got the credit that we deserved <laughs> for at real, bro. all at all bro um but i mean but you know what i like on. the fact that like we can sit here mm-hmm. and be like happy with what we did absolutely Cause, like like i like six years ago we didn't know that we were making this big change mm-hmm. and now we're here and we're like dang bro we did that yeah you know and i think that's really cool and i think it's like awesome that like we were also like one of the first girls to do it and Mm -hmm. like i mean like the main leq girls um and it gave like the rest of the girls the opportunity to also be included in that Mm -hmm. and like make it a space where it's like safe for everybody um how did how do you feel about like now with like everything changing and like the marches and stuff now would you still be doing Mm -hmm. that if you had the opportunity you think oh yeah for sure i definitely it's just hard because i know there was like during the like whole Black Lives Matter thing, I definitely wanted to go to them, mm-hmm. but my mom was like, "There's a there's a pandemic and stuff like that." Yeah. So it was hard to like be able to do that. But I feel like now, yes, I'm really open to it. Me and Matt talk about it. We always want to support. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, we good. think it's good. Okay. Yeah. That's good that you guys are also on the same page about that. Yeah. How it's cool. good. We have the like same views. Really. And like he knows a lot of like about like politics what's going on he knows how to explain things to Uh me i feel like i know more than i did Uh before and and it's good because i feel like now i'm like more aware Uh 
and um, I'm more sensitive to like topics now. Okay. Like I feel like I was. Wow, before. that's kind of like that's really cool though, because like not to be rude or anything, but he's just like a white like, <laughs> like not like in the nicest. No, way I possible. know what you mean. I'm it's like, fine. Don't you no, know? It's fine, but yeah. like, a lot of people like just are like when they're you know just, yeah I agree. I remember when I first met him, I thought he was like. Trump supporter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought he was one of those, but yeah. he's completely it, it the opposite. It definitely was giving Trump, though, it's for a little bit. It's definitely giving Crocs yeah. or <laughs> yeah. Jerusalem sandals, but it's, uh, no, he's the complete opposite. Oh and I appreciate that so much. Like, oh, absolutely. Like I said, like, we knew things back in the day, but mm-hmm. I feel like now I'm doing it myself. Like, okay. I feel like before it was different. Yeah. Like, now I'm learning by myself. Matt is teaching me the big words and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, my so, God. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And that, like, that's really awesome that he gives you, like, the opportunity to learn and grow. Mm-hmm. Would you go to a women's march now? Or any march? Um, Yo, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think just being there to support other women and, like, despite the reason why you're there um i think it's just the principle and the foundation of everything but like with a woman's march and like that situation i feel like we had created sometimes like a very mean girl energy when Mm. we were filming and like it's totally fine to admit now just because like we were so young and we were so mature that like we didn't know what we were really even doing Mm -hmm. um but when we when you and i would go to the women's march and like really stand and like be there for one another it was like an eye-opening experience to be like well this isn't a place where it's like it's competitive all the time it's like we all have room for everybody and like Mm -hmm. i think that's like something that the women's march really taught me um just to create a bigger space for everybody else because there's room for everybody yeah no i agree that's a good point yeah Mm -hmm. we were in our mean girl era for real for real bro (laughs) and i regret it but like at the same time i i think like bro i was so young Mm -hmm. i had no idea and like now i feel like bad but i'm like it happened, you know? Yeah, it already <laughs> happened and you yeah. learned and you grew and it's like, that's not you anymore yeah. or me at all. Okay, <laughs> so I was looking through my archives yes. and I found some notes. Ooh. Ooh. I just sent them to you. Yes. These were notes <laughs> from what was going to happen if Corona didn't happen, literally. Oh my gosh. Um, this seven? is season seven. Oh my gosh. Breakdown. So <laughs> I haven't seen this and I don't know if you've ever seen it. I remember, I kinda, like, we had a big part in season seven, and we would help each other with, like, notes and, like, storylines. I remember that. Yes, yes, But I yes, don't know yes. if it's this. I mean, but this was how long ago? Like... I don't even know how long ago COVID was. How long ago was COVID? 2020. Three years ago, Three years almost. ago? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll read <laughs> it. Ahead. Can I read it? Yeah. Okay. The whole Quince universe gathers for a launch, 100K subscriber party for the new channel opening montage of all girls arriving vlog, confessional booth, when... Where past MDQ girls talk and stuff. See where they've been. As we settle in the party, the LAQ girls get to talking. That morning, I was like getting ready because we were about to film that episode. I was there. Yeah. Yeah. You had trekked from like the mountains of China. No, literally. (laughs) And you got there and they said, never mind. Yeah. And I was like, I better be getting paid. (laughs) And you're like, I'm not leaving if I don't get my check. (laughs) Um... Yeah, so we were getting ready for that. That's, so that was, like, on the brink of happening. I didn't even know, like, uh, all these people were going to be here. Yeah. Sit Lali. Eileen Armando. I- Isaac. Okay, I'll Iram read and Isaac. <laughs> let me read it. Let me read Victoria. Don't have that, but what the... <laughs> Wait, we can't talk about Isaac? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, we can, but... Ugh. I know. We're like, why? I know, but, I'm you like, know, it's okay, because I have to... I deal with this. Oh, <laughs> so like in your Xavier. Yeah, 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 I was in my Xavier area. OK, um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk. Please. Wait, why? Are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go <laughs> okay. ahead. Uh, Victoria with model material cast. Talk about some behind the scenes events from their shows. Updates about current drama. Victoria, the model girls. OK, I ran with Eileen and Armando. The friends catch up and I ran spills the latest tea about the LAQ girls. Isaac arrives to the party. I ran reluctantly leaves to go talk to him. What was the tea? I don't know. OK probably gonna make something up so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shani and vivian with silali and frida silali asks about Alyssa and says she needs to talk with her oh that's the tea Ooh. shani and vivian are concerned with her tone Alyssa walks into the party makes eye contact with silali and walks away silali tells shani and vivian why Alyssa's scared i, I remember filming this kind of with silali mm-hmm. but it was over zoom yeah yeah, 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 yeah i remember yeah, yeah. that that they thought like they had beef or whatever yeah Iram and Isaac, the former couple, share a cute moment together, highlighting the fact that they are still friends. Wait, you guys broke up at this time already? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Did. I didn't know that. Oh, shoot. That's oh, crazy. We did. We did. We did. Because we broke up like 
a month after college. Yes, I do remember didn't that. Didn't make it very far. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Alyssa FaceTimes with Xavier. She tells him she is nervous to go into the party because of Sitlali. Xavier gives her the confidence she needs. Alyssa tells Xavier about her recent surgery. Reality of talent. Enjoying, enjoying the, the party. party. Taking pictures. LA Cast comes together for an awkward photo op as there is still some drama. Shani and Alyssa throw some small shades at each other. <laughs> um, the awkwardness is broken up by Alyssa. Alyssa asks someone for a drink and then accidentally pours a drink on Shani. Shani leaves the photo and never happens. You would die if anybody did that. Yeah. That I don't think you would have filmed that. I do remember hearing about this, but I don't I don't think I was down for it. I'm down for everything else but like messing up my outfit. <laughs> you mess up the outfit? <laughs> then you're for real yeah. dude. <laughs> Episode two. Victoria goes skins to dr- dress shopping with her little sister. Mom and grandma press Victoria about her new mans. Grandma encourages their dating, but has major concerns about Victoria getting into law enforcement. Mom has concerns about her new man, but doesn't want to get into it today. Victoria updates on the current LAQ status. Her and Vivian still have not talked. Wait, why aren't they talking? Because they, were, <laughs> they weren't talking because... Um, of Matt? Maybe, or like maybe real life beef. Shoot, I don't know. Because weren't they fighting at the time? But I don't think that was like like a plot you know mm. <laughs> i don't know they probably were trying to start up for real okay Alyssa takes a drive a drive with her dad he drives her through his old neighborhood and enlightens her to his struggles growing up all in an effort for Alyssa to rethink going back to school dad asks about aj Alyssa feels like shani is part responsible for their breakup as <laughs> shani made it weird for her friend group with aj wait a second I hate that. I hate that <laughs> I so hate much. That. I hate that. I do <laughs> not remember did. that. I also like forgot about a lot of stuff. Like I Honestly, sure. all of this, I don't know. I made sure I forgot about it. I'm on episode 10 right now being like, what? Oh my happened? gosh. I don't even want to keep going. It goes, Victoria celebrates her 20th birthday. She's about to be like 23. Jeez. Like this is so far gone For that real, I this is cannot. So... I'm like, who's... And I'm like, her friend group? What friend group? <laughs> I'm like, I thought we were her friend group. <laughs> You're like, hello? <laughs> okay, um, back to episode two. Um, at home, Alyssa gets a late night FaceTime call from Xavier. She tells him she's deciding to go back to school. Xavier encourages her and they have a cute conversation. Cute. Xavier asks Alyssa about the photo Shani posted with Silali. I posted a photo with Silali? Okay. <laughs> Alyssa takes it personal. Alyssa feels like Shani is the only one being nice with Sitlali to make her upset. Sends a text to model group chat telling everyone that Stargirl will no longer be featured at her photo shoot. They were going to be featured at a Stargirl photo shoot? You're like, uh. I'm like, mm, who's paying for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no. I'm more shocked at episode 10 right now. I want to read it here. Can we read episode yeah. 10? I don't know. I think I'm just like at a such different point in my life right now where I'm just like, this sounds like actually miserable to even think about. Like imagine yeah. actually filming it. I, I could not. Literally. I know like, exactly. Imagine that. Um, it says, Iram is, at th- is with Alyssa and Xavier. Isaac shows up to the party as Iram <laughs> left her camera in his car from the club night. Club night? I don't know what club we're going to, but we were what, 19? <laughs> um... Isaac has to go to San Diego soon and wanted to make sure she had the camera. Isaac encourages her to continue making videos, <laughs> hypes like up the podcast. See, the summer, Isaac leaves the party with another girl. Wow. <laughs> In Xavier this cheating era. <laughs> Xavier leaves to get Iram a drink. Iram lets loose. And then I go to the bathroom and I'm sad about it in the bathroom. Yeah. This is not this is so in our favor gone. at all. No, no, like, this no. Is thank not God, help honestly, us. thank you. I'm glad this was not filmed. Maybe no. God was keeping us away from this. Honestly, <laughs> he had our back from the very start. Like, um, but period. I mean, if you guys want to see that. No, I'm not minus, filming that. <laughs> minus a lot of things. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're down for it, right? <laughs> I guess. Shani in the, sh- Shani Shani in the kitchen, in the Iram kitchen. in the streets. Let's <laughs> streets. go. <gasps> Iram's no longer in the streets. Iram is not in the streets. Oh my God, I finally got Shani picked up. Shani in the kitchen, Iram. Dating. In the back seat. <laughs> As like, we're looking at it, like it's definitely a little bit like cringy and embarrassing. But I think in that moment, like that's exactly what we wanted. And like mm-hmm. half of that, not half of it, like basically majority of that thing was, I feel like not scripted, but like there was real life events, but like I feel like it was so... Well, we were, it was real life events, but they were like scripted. Heightened. No, they were like, it happened, but we're just reliving. Them. Yeah. That yeah, was yeah, like yeah, a lot yeah. of it. I don't know. I think it's interesting to look back at and see like how much we have grown. That's like real life, like 
proof of like how much we've grown and like now looking at that it's like oh my god that's like so weird or like uncomfortable to think about but like Mm. in that moment that was that would have been really fun yeah i mean i was i was telling i don't know who i was telling but i was basically saying like at the time i didn't care about i genuinely did it not genuinely i there was a majority of me that didn't really care about the friendships Mm -hmm. i mainly cared about the views absolutely that's why i would do half of that stuff Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. that's why i would let kevin Mm -hmm. pour a drink on me like Mm -hmm. that's why i would let all this stuff happen to me but now i think about it i'm like bro i'm not trying to do that i'm way too old you know yeah to be faking that stuff yeah well i think it's great because we learn from every experience that we went through and like instead of being like oh that was so negative or that was so this or that like it's what we wanted in the moment you know yeah and like people loved it yeah it was great. It was really, really great. Jeez. Mm. But no, I would never do that again. <laughs> so so you wouldn't film that season seven? Like that exact season? Yeah. That, no, yeah, absolutely you, not. Really? Yeah, me either. I don't think you could. I think. You'd you have, have to, to pay, pay me, me a good chunk. No, you have to pay me like a lot of money <laughs> yeah. probably to like. Yeah. To do get that. In that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to get in that. Because no. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Shani, let me give you a moment to plug in everything you're doing probably oh no yeah make sure to shop small shop star girl and watch shani's kitchen because i ram the padillas and we have a halloween episode coming up on there so <gasps> yay! yay make sure you guys go check it out all of her links will be down below um but yeah other than that thank you guys so so much for watching and please subscribe comment down below if mm-hmm. you guys want to see this season seven um <laughs> and we'll start a GoFundMe for our producers <laughs> so they, they can start paying us like a little bit of that portion because it's gonna need to a big check yeah a big check. um but yeah you guys thank you guys so so much for watching and we'll see you guys all next week bye, bye.